Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. In today's video we're going to be talking about Ethereum's proof of stake. So proof of stake is going to be minimal. I told you guys like one year ago when proof of stake was going to happen. It was about 2018 but it didn't happen. So proof of stake will happen and it's going to be minimal, as I said before, because what is proof of stake going to be? It's going to be one block out of 100 that is going to be proof of stake. So the other 99 blocks that are left are going to be proof of work. So the difference is going to be 1% on your profits. But keep in mind, if you are holding your coins, for example, 10 Ethereum, and you gain 1% of the profits, let's say, well, you're going to gain even more Ethereum. So if we make it short over here, if you're holding your Ethereum and you're mining Ethereum at the same time, you're gonna gain even more money out of it because the owners with the most Ethereum are also going to make the most money, of course, because they're gonna gain more Ethereum than they're probably even able to mine. So what it actually means is also that proof of stake is going to be tested on a one to 100, but eventually it will start deciding itself, like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm going to take 5 out of 100 that are going to be proof of stake or I'm going to say 90 blocks out of 100 are going to be proof of stake. So it's going to try and decide what is going to be the best for the blockchain. The actual target for Vitlik Butterin was to lower down the electricity that is being used for the Ethereum blockchain. So what he wants to do is totally virtualize proof of stake on Ethereum so that there is no more miner that is using power anymore for the blockchain. So it will all be independent mining Ethereum virtually by just gaining more coins in your wallet and your Ethereum coins are kind of the miners, let's say. So that is what they are targeting for. And that's also a really nice thing to show off to other blockchains that they can accomplish that. But it's still a lot of work, a lot of bug fixing on smart contracts if they're even gonna work. It's, it's still a lot to do for them. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video today and I hope it was informative for you guys. And if you still have a lot of other questions, just comment it in the comments below and I'll try to answer them with a video. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one.